Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey girly, welcome back to another video. So today's video is gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me. We're gonna be talking about what happened a couple days ago because y'all, I went out. And this past week, I had another friend come into town and she wanted to go out. I have been terrified of the club scene in Vegas, but she had me outside. So I'm gonna share with you guys what happened. And we're gonna be trying out some new She Glam products. These are their new plumping glosses, as well as their Color Bloom liquid blush. These are both super viral on TikTok right now. So I'm excited to try them. So we're gonna go ahead and do my base first and then we'll try out these products. So I'm just gonna be telling the story the whole time. I'm just gonna be rambling. So if you want a full rundown on all the products, step-by-step, step, like for my base, I have an everyday makeup routine on my channel, go check it out. So like I told you guys, your girl has been locked up. Like I have not gone to a club. I have not gone to like literally any, ooh. I keep forgetting my foundation is a little too light because I keep going outside and tanning. So I have to fix it with bronzer. <laughs> So don't worry, it's all gonna come together. The one thing that genuinely like makes me upset about myself is that I will not take pictures. Like, I don't know why, like I'll get ready, get all cute, but you guys see my Instagram. It's dry. I posted maybe four pictures this entire year. Like, I, I don't know why. I just don't like taking pictures. I used to love it. Like, these days, like, I just go outside. I enjoy my time and I don't... I don't, I'm not bothered. I never get ready. Like I'm in sweatpants pretty much every single day. If you ever see me in public, I probably have a bun. And I actually wore heels. Yes, I wore heels, me. You guys know that is not a thing. <laughs> I'm a sneakerhead, and I also think I have like crooked feet or something. <laughs> I have just never been a fan of heels. I think you have to like start wearing them in like eighth grade and just continue wearing them, or you're doomed. Because I have tried constantly, and when I tell you, girl, the line I had to stand in. So we started our night with a little food. We went to Sushi Samba. Oh my goodness, like, girl. <laughs> If you ever come to Vegas, you need to go to Sushi Samba. It is delicious. Whether it's like packed or not, the service is actually really fast and really good there. So definitely recommend. And I would also recommend just drinking there or drinking before you even like get to the strip. So the club we went to, I keep calling it Hacky Sack. I don't know how to actually pronounce it. Somebody told me like five times and I keep forgetting. I forgot how long the lines get here because obviously like I live here. So sometimes I'll go to the strip and I'll see people just waiting and I'm like, damn, like y'all are really standing there for two hours to be in there for maybe an hour, get sweaty, it kind of stinks. But here I am, very full circle. <laughs> Girl, it felt like we were waiting there for like an hour. Oh my God, I don't know how long we actually waited. Maybe it was less than that, but it felt like it took an hour of just standing there before we finally got inside. And remember I mentioned I'm wearing heels. I should have wore a kitten heel. Like I didn't have, <laughs> I wanted to be a bad <laughs> Like, I really did not have to wear, like, five-inch heels as a beginner. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? That was not smart at all, but you know what? I knew that this was gonna be the only time I went out, so I had to take my chance. I had to have my moment. But I know for sure, everybody in that line, in front of me, to the side of me, behind me, could see my ankles twisting. Did you guys know I actually went to the Billboard Music Awards one year? And I also wore heels that day. I thought I was the baddest. I went to Jimmy Choo, girl. This is when Jimmy Choo's were like, ah! I went and got myself a cute little pair of black heels. I don't know why I say little, the heel was this big. And there's like these cobblestones on the floor that they made us walk and we couldn't walk on the sidewalk we had to walk on the street that was blocked and my heel got stuck between the stones and i fell and you heard ooh. so after waiting for what felt like freaking forever we finally get inside like i said and here we go again waiting in another line because now i need a drink um should have drank at sushi samba not sure why i didn't why do they sell like 20 dollar water here like, I know it's Vegas, but, like, that's actually, like, messed up. So when I saw that the water was, like, $20, I was like, oh, my God, like, how much is a shot? So the friend that I went with was actually single, so... <laughs> All I'm gonna say is don't go out with, like, single friends, because it just puts you as a target for, like, getting bothered. <laughs> Unless that's what you want. That's that's a different story. So every time she dances with a new guy, here comes his friend trying to talk to me like, hey, like you wanna dance? Like, no, no. <laughs> and I'm happy to report that it was actually a good experience, meaning that like every time I said like, sorry, like can't do that, got a man. The guys would just be like, all right then, see ya. Because in the past when I would club in LA, if I was in a relationship, the guys would be like, is he here? I used to have some friends that like playfully dance. That's what they used to call it. Like I'm just playfully dancing with him while they were in relationships. I can't do that. I can't do that because I wouldn't want him to be playfully getting twerked on by somebody. Girl. 
our whole purpose of being there was having a meatball moment like a Jersey Shore Snooki and Dina meatball moment So here we are in the middle of the floor like doing all these like Jersey Shore dances I feel like I need to experience that again, but with like fur boots and shorts and a tank top It's been a while since I have seen a club fight. That's all I'm gonna say. I went to the bathroom I <laughs> But one of the stall doors open and these two girls just like fall out of it and they're like pulling each other's hair There was no screaming before there was no yelling nobody heard punches I mean I like I said I was kind of drunk. I know I didn't like black out or anything, but I feel like my memory lapsed because I was suddenly at IHOP literally ever since I was like 18 after drinking or partying or going to the club anything we would always go to IHOP afterwards I think it's because it's one of the only things that are open when I lived in LA we'd go to Crave girl the memories I have at Crave that mermaid lemonade was so good but just the memories but yeah girl I down like two stacks of those double chocolate chip pancakes Ubered home went to sleep woke up the next day without I'll drink one martini and I'll have a hangover the next day. So I don't know if like the universe was like letting me just have fun for once. Okay, so my base is done. So let's go ahead and get into this blush and gloss. So first we're gonna start with the blushes. This is the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush. We have these in the color On Point, Night Drive, and Petal Talk. So like I mentioned, this product has been going viral on TikTok. People have been using Petal Talk to brighten their under eye as well as Night Drive as the blush. So we're gonna try that today. Let's go ahead and swatch all of them first. Ski Glam always hits with their packaging. It is so pretty. So the first color we're gonna try is On Point. Look at the brush, that is so cute. Product is said to be very buildable, very blendable, so I am excited to try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers to blend because that's typically what I do with all my other blushes. Wow, <laughs> that is so pretty. Next, we're gonna swatch Night Drive. Go ahead and blend this one in as well. That's pretty. It's a nice, like, deep purple color. And the last one is Petal Talk. Ooh, I could see how that's gonna brighten up the under eye. Let's go ahead and blend that in as well. And this is just one coat. Like I said, they're known to be very buildable. And as they dry, I can see that they turn into a nice matte finish. So we're gonna be using On Point and Petal Talk for the viral hack. So on this cheek, we're gonna do my blush how I usually would do it, which would be just putting some dots going up and down. Let's go ahead and blend that in oh that is so pretty the color <laughs> but this is how i usually do my blush so we're gonna take petal talk and we're gonna put that on the inner eye we're gonna put two dots right there let's go ahead and blend that Ooh, you guys see how it is actually like brightening the under eye but it leaves a little bit of a pink tint and we're gonna take on point and put two dots on the outside kind of and then blend that together. So which one do you guys like more? So the way I usually do it is definitely more harsh, but the other side is very like soft, like blushing glow, very buildable, and it doesn't feel like it's like caking up or anything. Now let's try out the lip plumpers. These are the She Glam Pout Perfect Shine Lip Plumper. I have them in six different shades, and we are about to try all of them on. Nice, pretty iridescent packaging. These are known to make your lips look super juicy, so let's go ahead and start with the color Hot Cocoa. Ooh. Once again, this is the color Hot Cocoa. Next, we have Spring Fever. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I love this. They have a nice creamy formula. They're actually made with coconut oil, so it leaves your lips nice and moisturized without feeling sticky. This is so pretty. Next, we have the color Berry Season. Next, we have the shade First Crush. This one is definitely more of a lighter pink. Love this as well. I could see myself putting this over a nude or like a light brown kind of lip liner. Next, we have the color Hot Stuff. This one looks like it's gonna, oh yeah. Be more of like a more reddish hot pink versus that first one we tried on. This one's more red. And last but not least, we're going to be trying Peachy Keen. I wanted to save this for last because I knew that this would be the color that I probably wear throughout the day. You guys know I love doing a brown lip look, so this one is probably going to get worn a lot if it looks how I think it's going to look. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> Just immediate yes. I saw this one on TikTok a lot. Like, out of all the colors, Peachy Keen. Oh, yeah. I like this one a lot. 
And now I'll put my mascara on. I know probably the whole video, some of y'all were like, girl, you forgot to do your eyes. Like, do your eyes. My last video, <laughs> why did I forget to put mascara on the other eye? Like, girl, you are supposed to be a beauty guru. Awesome products, once again, from She Glam. I'll link everything below if you guys are interested in shopping. And a big shout out to my body for recovering the next day. <laughs> y'all see how I've been pumping out these videos, right? That hangover would have not allowed that. But yeah, go get this in Peach Keen. And you gotta go get Petal Talk and On Point. So that's it for today's video. If you guys like any of the products I showed you today, check out my description. I'll have everything linked below. So that's it for today's little makeup look. Thanks for chit-chatting with me and just hanging out. Um, wanted to show you guys some new products as well as tell you guys how my night went because I had quite a night. That story time would have been longer, but your girl got that lit that I don't remember. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. I love you so much. Follow me on TikTok at I'm Simply Nessa for more content from me, and I'll see you later. Bye.